Hello, um, welcome to this uh, lecture. Uh, my name is um, Tor Atle Hjeltnes. Um, I am from uh, Norway. Um, I have different jobs, but one of my jobs is to be a dis uh, business developer at a research foundation in Norway called TSIP. Uh, and today, uh, in this course, in this lecture, I'm going to teach you something about uh, concurrent design. Um, in general, we can say that uh, the reason why you sign up for this course is hopefully uh, to take part in the making of a business plan. And not just a business plan, um, a business plan with future uh, and hopefully a good one. Um, in general, we can say that uh, in this course there are uh, several main topics or objects. Uh, one of them, of course, uh, is to learn uh, general entrepreneurship theory, because if you're going to make a good business plan, you need to know uh, some basic theory uh, of how to become an entrepreneur and some of the challenges that we will meet when we uh, want to start an entrepreneurial activity. Another thing or another subject in this course is uh, a model called Osterwalde business model. Uh, this is uh, yeah, more or less a framework uh, that will help us uh, uh, focus on the right things when we are going to develop a, a business uh, model that uh, will be the foundation for, uh, for a finalized business plan later on. Um, the third subject that I, I mentioned here in this um, in, uh, in this slide uh, is uh, principles from concurrent design. Concurrent design um, is a method and you will use some of the principles in this method uh, when you're going to make your own business plan uh, together in a group. This lecture, uh, next slide, this lecture, what and why. Uh, after this lecture, you have learned some basics about uh, concurrent design as a method. And we think that this will help you uh, as uh, professionals or students, uh, will help you write a better business plan. Um, another thing you hopefully will see after this lecture is that if you're going to make a good business plan uh, it is depending on the people the competence the people have who are going to write a business plan it's in it's depending that you have access to the right tools and also to write a good business plan you need a process that uh, should be planned up front um, this lecture that i'm giving you now uh, will sadly enough not make you an expert in concurrent design uh, but you will get to know the method uh, well enough to benefit from it in further work with your business plan so uh, you should just have uh, some uh, patience with me and hopefully you will see that uh, there is a reason why we introduce concurrent design uh, into this course some of you uh, might uh, find concurrent design interesting when you hear about the basics and therefore uh, if you download uh, this slide set uh, later on uh, you will find some uh, articles uh, listed at the end of this uh, slideshow and um, there you can read more about concurrent design in general but today's focus is how you can use concurrent design uh, to help you uh, make a business better business plan together with uh, your co-students. 